this is that summer pack patch that we didn't plant but you see how good it's doing too so we're gonna let them in here this has just got some clover look at all that wild clover coming up beautiful look at all this tall grass right here so they'll eat all this and this is something we didn't plant so this is what we're trying to instill in our rotational grazing plan uh it's got some old manure in here but i mean still for this to be a, a patch that we didn't plant and as green as it is I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it because all it is is clover mostly it's got some random weeds but look i mean they're coming over here skipping over some of the rye and coming over here and eating so that's good now lastly look at this patch they've not even been on yet look at that i mean look at that look at you level now that doesn't do it justice watch this let me show you if i don't fall first <laughs> All right, so let me show you this. Look at this. Boom. Look at my boot. All right, I'm gonna put you on the ground. Look at that. All right, so let me grab one of these. Look at that length. Well, that is a 13 to 15 inch over a foot stalk. Look at the tops, not cut. You can tell they need to eat this. Look how gorgeous this is, man. Look at that. Look how beautiful all this grass is. So they haven't even been in this paddock. This will be the paddock they come in next. And um, we'll walk them. This is the furthest one. Now you see where we're at. We're on the backside of the garden. You see where they are all at. See where the calves are. They walk across, go to this little barn right there is our secondary barn. They'll walk on the behind the house, behind old Bessie, and way over there is where we mill. So you see that's a far walk, but they get to come back and walk to this. So it's a long walk for me in the mornings as we start this paddock probably in the next few days. But this paddock has had almost a true 60 day rest or actually more than that probably. Uh, I had to go back and look at my, my little journal but I think it's had more than that. But great quality. This is one of the ones we put cotton seed mill on about two months ago. And you see it's made a huge difference. There's our chickens working the rest of the garden. And then they will start back over where, uh, where the actual greens are way down there so look at that man they're working this area really well you'd be surprised how much grass they've already ate out of that and they've got some more to eat so you see this is the spot that we've got to come back in let it we're gonna let it dry we're gonna put some wood chips in there and then that will be covered with the silage tarp and that will decomp for a whole year all right probably about eight months and this is where we'll plant uh, next fall too our greens this is our summer patch and down there will be late fall early january a whole another year we'll plant that as early spring next year so that's the part the chickens are going on next way down here where all the greens are and man what a great rotation we've got going on pigs are working the new spot close to the house so all the garden beds are doing great look at the cows they want into this ryegrass i'm not gonna let them in it yet so i'm gonna let them take these two paddocks All right, a quick little update. You see, we've got a lot of things planted. Of course, there's all our aloe. Got some old ferns and things like that in here as well. Uh, you see, we cleaned it out, as you know. We've got our worm castings and peat moss there. We've got some old rye seed. Uh, strawberries are doing great. Look at all the blooms and the strawberries starting to, to make off there, which we are very pleased with. But uh, before we start watering, I'll kind of give you an update. Look at the zinnias. They're all starting to come up. That's very good. Some of Misty's uh, perennials and herbs have not started. One one little piece of sage has come up. Uh, all these haven't started coming up quite yet, but all the, the sage and the parsley, and of course the marigolds, all that's still looking really nice. Uh, we've got some marigolds coming up here. You see, it's barely starting to come up. Um, we've got some chamomile starting to come up through here, which is good. We've got some poppy starting to come up. Let's see. Of course, these strawberries were ones we we transplanted. Look, some new growth on that one, so that's really good. It's what we want to see. 
Um, we took about three to five strawberries and made tons of them. So all these are basically propagated off uh, a few seeds and a few starters, basically. Uh, the butter lettuce is starting to come up from Hall's Tools. The back butter crunch. The green magic broccoli is starting to come up. Um, we've got some broccoli coming up here. So, so far, uh, look at that. Wow. There's some broccoli coming up there. This is the local broccoli that we get. All that's starting to grow. Man, great. Very good. Okay, so we're going to water this stuff. But I just want to kind of give you an update. We've got, uh, I think we edited it up. We've got about, goodness, I think 200 seed starts in here maybe. Counting all the soil blocks, you know, I mean, and all the stuff in the, the cell trays. So very pleased with that. Um, we got about 50 aloes to sell. Actually, a little bit more than that. I think, I think it was close to 60. Big, little, small, medium, all those. Uh, over here, look how good some of this stuff is done. This is our pigeon pea. It's not coming up yet. But we've got a little movement in the ground right there. I mean, in the uh, topsoil. This here is the... Let's see what this is. This is the bell peppers. You see a pepper plant and a strawberry coming up there. Some strawberries coming up here. Very good. Some more strawberries up here. Wow. Great, 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 great. Lemon tree's doing balling. We replanted this one to give it more room because we got three absolutely great oranges off this tree last year. Now I'm hoping we get a lot more, but for this to be in South Mississippi, to not really have a, a big citrus grow here, to get three gorgeous, beautiful oranges off this, I was real pleased because we thought we lost it a year ago. Um, but it's done, it's hopefully it's got some new green growth on it, so I'm hoping we really start just adding to it and, and really making a huge difference. Oh, that's looking good. Uh, the moringa has not started coming up yet, but we got a little movement down there beside the pigeon pea. So everything's looking good. We're going to do a light water on everything. This is some of the tomatoes we've got planted. Uh, we will keep them strictly in here as a greenhouse tomato. Um, but very pleased with it so far. Um, real pleased with it. I, I'm actually overly pleased, especially since we hadn't had this stuff planted too long. how great this looks look at the definitive line look they tilled a perfect square pattern all the way around I mean, they have done a great job they've literally tilled up every little piece even tore some of the old hay that had chicken uh, fertilizer in it looks great so me and Aiden are actually gonna move it today onto this next piece right here so doing a phenomenal job phenomenal job good job guys Digging down the milk, we had about four gallons of old milk and old skim, some butter. And they had smoked it. it. Took them about five. Took them about uh, two minutes to get rid of that one. We're almost done with this one.
y'all see our perfect square? So that's where we just moved them from and you can see they tilled every ounce for us. The thing about tilling with a tiller versus letting your animals do it for you is as you can see, we left them on the on this what was how many total days was it three days so three days and they broke up all the grass i mean you can see they went through and broke up the grass but they didn't dig into the ground they didn't affect the microbes of the ground they didn't affect the earthworms of the ground um so they did the job that we needed them to do now what we will do at this point is we will come lay tarp off here and cover this up so the grass can't replant itself seeds can't replant itself and we've bumped this over and give them a whole nother section to till so we're going to make this our um <clears throat> beds are going to be a little bit more closer to the house they're down they're down um they're right down from the house kind of beside the raised beds they'll just be a little bit closer to us Up. You see, they're in it. It took us a while to run them in it, didn't it, Mommy? It did. But uh, we got them in there. Like we've said, this was actually where the original meat birds were. So you see, they've got a good manure patch right there. They started digging that, started digging in the leaves. And we're going to let them do this, just what they're doing right here. And they're going to tarp all this, and this will be a new winter bed for us. But it uh, looks like they're doing good. Again, remember, all that in front is just going to be tilled up, and we're going to try to plant some, some zinnias or some sunflowers and really just kind of make it just for the bees. But all this right here will all be the new garden for next year. So that kind of wraps us up for the day. Happy homesteading, y'all.